Welcome back to Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel where we are talking about sustainable farming practices, sustainable energy efficiency and water conservation with an aim of fighting climate change and giving us lasting solutions. Today's topic we are going to talk on biogas production as a result of dairy farming and the benefits that we can be able to accrue by using biogas production. I'm your host, Anne Okel. Please feel free to subscribe, share, leave us a comment on this channel so that we can know the next way forward. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name's uh, Samuel Akoko Nyaoke. Professionally, I'm a teacher. I'm coming from Wangcheng Ward. As you know, it's county, Homa Bay County. Professionally, I'm a teacher. I've taught a number of schools, starting from Maumau Memorial in Tana River, Gendi High School, and finally, I taught at Peter High School. Currently, uh, the governor, I must thank him for that, has recently appointed me Minister for Roads, Public Works and Transport in Homa Bay County. Yes, when I retired, I decided to go to farming and I was interested in the dairy farming because I knew that uh, crops do not do well here but the cow will do very well so since 2009 I introduced dairy farming and uh, it has been very productive you know since I retired as a teacher the, the two dairy animals I've had has really maintained me you know as a farmer and I think it's been very good. The cows have been giving me a lot of milk. Uh, I sell 60 shillings per liter. Total production, I'm getting uh, 18 liters per day. Since I retired, and because I joined this dairy farming, it's been very great. I've been really encouraged. Because I also introduced uh, biogas, which is producing you know, gas for my for my our kitchen and the, 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 the manure for my farm. I want to encourage my former students, Mbita Gendia, to get into this. Because despite the fact that I'm doing the work of a minister in the county, I still have time to look after my cows. I come to the farm, do the cutting, I'm assisted by some two boys and uh, I've kept the cows, and I remember when I was seducing them, a lot of people were saying, will I be able to manage? I have money. And I think this climate can really do well for all the great cows. What you need to do is just to have the feeding, uh, that is the napier grass, and to pray the animals every week, so that the tick, which is our problem here, is gone. I've kept these animals for the last 11 years, and I'm really happy. So now, I want to upscale. I would like to ask uh, the Minister of Agriculture to help farmers to have dairy cows because they will increase their earning. Because here, if you are growing maize, you are not going to get a lot of money. But if you even have two dairy cows, in fact, if you are even going to school and you are doing that, it will give you a lot of money. It will give you a lot of money. So I want to encourage the young people to really go in for a dairy animal is good. The whole process of making a biogas yeah. is to collect uh, cow dung from the campsite yes. using a wheelbarrow. Then you will put it into this hole. Then you pour water, you stir it so that it's properly mixed. Then you pull uh, that something that blocks this thing from going in and it goes in. It goes into the chamber. It is where the gas will be manufactured. Mm -hmm. Then it will go direct to the kitchen through this pipe and the other pipe on the wall. Now, the waste will be down in the next chamber mm -hmm. which will be pour down in a pit we have made. And that is now the pure manure, which you can use for crops, for napier grass that I use 
to, to, to have help in Napier grass for my cows to give me further cow dung. My mother, those days, was using cow dung, the dry cow dung, to cook. Yes, the pressure is at zero. Mm -hmm. So I turn on and the pressure goes up. That's pressure. Yeah, that is covered. Pressure. Yes, it's good. Nearly every day in a koroga, it's very good. It's clean. Clean and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn issues, climate change and how to mitigate them. We are always on the ground looking for people doing best practices and using them as a model. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Learn something new. And if there's anything new you've learned from this channel today, please don't forget to leave for us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Even if you need information, here is a place. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.